take them with you. Take them with you, take them with you. Do you see them? Young ones cloaked in perspicacity. I saw their smiles fade like beauty and empathy. I sang Blake songs to kids who weren't allowed to be innocent. But Tate's songs of bitterness were music to the inexperienced. It makes sense though. Children emulate ignorance in an unwilling dissonance because we learn from what we see, not what we are told. Where does the leader go when everyone's already found their leader and there's plastic in the lake and principle is not a prerequisite for position? How to teach when a classroom is a place of yearning for a better curriculum? How can we fashion satiation out of stories when we don't eat from the earth anymore? How can we siphon smiles from past glories when we've sped time up to the speeds of barely remember? Um, I say we tell them that a rope is first an instrument of connection. Second, that a hope is an invitation to a blessing. But I was cast aside immersed into a nothingness that contained everything. Justice was a myth blowing in stone. The streets simmered with the notes of an unrelenting consequence. I slipped through the cracks of grass pavements, lines in frankincense. The method of this madness is written in rhapsody. They wrapped bodies on morgue mornings, then crossed their legs to Homer's odyssey. I knew that life was not for me, so I refused to die by their hands. The day before the return was spent in hibernation. To learn what fear paralysis is, you have to sit still for a long time by choice. Movement has more meaning afterwards and stillness ceases to be something to be feared. The calm before the storm wasn't just a platitude. Like the picture framed post chemical bath and beautification in a dark room. Like the cup that bears the sweetest elixir can only be tasted by the bitter tooth. Survival stitched on my bones, insinuating the shape of infinity. The only way out of death is birth. I, I, saw, I saw the earnest in this boy's eyes. Contained the pinnacle of miracles. In his measured breath, the staccato of life's ultimate victory. The preservation of one's essence. 